Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you guys are watching this from, we back out here on the undefeated, <coughs> undisputed design, my bad. <laughs> and as you guys can see, we're going to be going for a no-loss stream today on the newly updated undisputed as well. Uh, just because they did update a couple things yesterday. Uh, the counter damage was supposed to have gone up as well as um, the base damage on a couple of strikes as well. So we're going to be getting into it. Let me hop in the chat real quick, see where everybody's at. But I hope you guys are all having a good day, having a good afternoon, having a good evening. In here, in here. Yo, what's good, IR? What's good, Vito? What up, what up? I'm super quiet at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to move my mic. There we go. Should sound a little bit better. One second, guys. One second, one second, one second. Get that posted up. Uh, we're almost done. Almost done. I just got to post one more place. We'll be good. we go we good we good we good yo what's it was a tad quiet sleeping baby volume <laughs> nah um it's just because i try to turn it down so that way it doesn't pick up when i'm tapping on my like when i'm tapping on my uh my buttons on the controller because <laughs> i've been noticing when i've been listening to shit back um when I'm tapping on my buttons, I I can hear I can hear it in my streams, and I know you guys I know you guys must not like hearing this because I don't like hearing it. So, if you want to continue over, yeah, hey Mike, send those over for me, bro. I'd appreciate it. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the rank. And everybody that's in here, y'all are gonna get to pick my pick my fighters, and we're trying to go for a no loss stream today. So right, I'm gonna pick the weight classes. Well, actually, I'll let you guys pick what fighters you guys want to see me use, no matter the weight class, except for the women's. The women's, we're not fighting in the women's weight classes, but whatever fighters you guys want to see me use, let me know. You know, Katie Taylor, I've been vying really to use, but I think I'm going to make a video with her one day. But all right. Let me know who you guys want to see me use. The first fighter I see is the first fighter we going with. Rocky? 
All right, bet. Go get it. Rocky Marciano. Yo, what up, Fly Like Fast? How you doing, man? Now, for those of you guys that don't know who Rocky Marciano is, obviously one of the best heavyweights of all fucking time. You know, bullshit. I actually, um, <laughs> it's funny. Um, one of my really good friends from my childhood, they're, well, the fam, one of my, the really close families that my mom was with, their last name was Marciano. Their dad's name was Marciano. And then one of my really good friends from back in the day, too, when he had his son, he named him Rocky Marciano. So his last name's Marciano and his first name's Rocky. So this guy has <laughs> some, some big, uh, some big clout around him, man. And if you don't know who he is, you need to go back and do your history. So he has pretty good movement speed. His agility is really good, and he hits like a fucking truck with his right hand. The only thing about him is his reach. His reach is a little bit shorter, especially if we're going up against somebody like Wilder or obviously Tyson Fury, uh, against Muhammad Ali as well. So we're really going to need to utilize that, that footwork. Because if we don't, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real big problem. He has powerhouse, which is, which is uh, it's gonna be crazy. Cause imagine us hitting somebody with that right hand. He has a ninety-three right hand power, and then he has increased damage of, of power punches thrown by twenty percent. So if we hit somebody with that right hand, we're hitting them with about ninety-five, ninety-six power. It's gonna be crazy. But all right, let's get it. And I, sorry guys, I had to turn off the music too because I've been getting my shit copyrighted and I know they have streamer mode on here, but even on streamer mode, you still get your shit copyrighted. So we had to turn it off for the menu music. What a night for a fight. We're at Brooklyn Hall. My name is Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always Ooh, mine, my smoke friend. Smoke and Joe. Time it's for our tale matchup. of the tape. Smoke and Joe Frazier. Only six feet tall, even. 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man. This fight would have been crazy in real life. Smoke and Joe. Smoke and Joe and Rocky Rock. Rock. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. All the talk. So here we go. Should be a good one. And this is with that jam. Starting out low. Jab. That was actually a straight, sir. And Joe hits like a fucking truck, too. You're see a lot of too. finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Get him low on the blind side of the mm -hmm. Get him angry. Changes from both men in this round. Solid punch. Missed him with that uppercut. Mm, trying to work it a little bit. So against Joe Frazier, you want to use the movement. So that's what we're trying to do right here with Rocky. We're not just going to be standing in front of him, brawling it out. He didn't right take that jab well at all. Body jab. Straight. Lead hook. Body jab. Ooh, nice. That's a body shape by him. These two fighters are made for one another. Ooh, I missed that one. Right hand. Mm, 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 mm. 
You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. All right, smart first round. We didn't get hit a lot. This fight could not be any closer, could it, John? We didn't get hit a whole lot, but, you know, we still got to keep it on the outside because, like I said, Joe Frazier's power in this game is really, really fucking good. So. This time, right there. That's a scoring left hand. Nice. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. Miss with that jab. Don't overthrow with Joe. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because they're so big, mm. because they can push, because they've got the weight behind the them. Awesome. They may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's gonna get hurt, and someone's gonna react. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. Hmm. Nope. He threw the hook, didn't land. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes Ooh. from. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. We already got a cut on the left side of our face, man. This one could go either way. Yeah, we only broke a so little bit of damage in that round, which is pretty good. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? So I'm take our time, fight from the outside. We've landed a lot of power jabs, too. Look, get out of there. Neither man really defending themselves. Caught him with a left hook. Right there. Ooh, nice to there. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get the, your shots off. I don't know why the saying that all the time. You can bang too. The only problem with the fighter is if, if they know you have a chin that's going to go down, they're just going to test it. Like, bro, neither one of these guys had chins like that. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he caught him with a left hook. Infighted a little bit right there. Do I ever get matched up with someone that doesn't that skip the hand. round breaks? Uh, I think once, dude. Once I had a guy that just would not skip it. Show me how to do that, Mr. Mike. Hey, yo, what's good, Romero? This is that jab. Hey, I appreciate you sharing the stream, too, bro. Hmm. Right, we gotta run to that one. Spiders, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. We're about to see. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. Health-wise, we're looking pretty good, but we just need to absorb a little bit more. will be buzzed first. A little bit more. Uh, be a little bit more cautious. Hit him with a left jab. Nope. Got those. 
And he misses with that jab. He just missed. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Got him with a heavy punch. Scores with that right uppercut. Oh, the connection's kind of getting out. Low choppy, low choppy. In the early rounds of the fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get your ring feeling like your King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Mm. Mm. I don't know what place it was on and I would have liked. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Mm. The courage on display here is incredible. Yep. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Ooh. Ooh. And he just misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nope. Caught him, with, caught him with that power punch. A lot better of a round this round. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Got him. Nice exchange here from both men. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. All right, we're cleaning it up. We're cleaning it up. Who's winning this fight? Those right are the type of rounds we need no right there. Those are the type of rounds we need. It's going to be the, the first one to get punched. Super technical with it. Right there. We missed on that one. And that left yep. lands. Nothing to miss. In the Second. early rounds of the fight, the you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through mm -hmm. anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Oh, you're just missing that hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
got out of the way of that right hook. Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Jeez. Missing a lot of shots. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Wow. Okay. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked very close round with 10 seconds to go? Yo, what's good? This game is good for three matches than it's been two hours. A little bit, bro. This fight is closer than two. So it goes a little bit. Which fighter's gonna get clipped first? All right, we're back. We're back with 57 all. And he just missed with that left jab. He just missed with that big right hand. And then that. Yep. Get out of there. He's in there. He's in there. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Nope. Got him with a left jab. Left there, but misses. Ooh, just missed on the power hit to the body. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. You know the scorecards are going to be all over yeah, the place. Yeah, my third power right one. there. That's the reason why he landed like that. This fight could not be any closer, Johnny. That was super. It takes it takes a long time to get in these matches, especially because a lot of them go to the like to the distance, man. to avoid the jab. Mm. Missing with that right hook. Mm. Oh, what a punch! How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Right there in the body. Just moving. This is how you have to fight Joe Frazier, too. Like You can't just stand in front of him and let him dirty box you the whole time. Big right hand just misses. In the way. Straight. How 
nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. We're landing heavy. This one could go Landing either ahead. way. Every round is so important. So important. I feel like I got the last two rounds, so we should be up by two. He's gonna be the first so one we'll to see get in the next round. Hey, those punches add up. Nope. Get in the body. Got one in. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. At the end of the body. Get to the body. Ooh. Good, and that may just do it. He is not moving. Damn, we caught him with that. that we caught him, him with that power shot to the body, bro. Three, four, That's why you gotta stay patient with it. That's why you gotta stay patient with it. Body's starting to hurt. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. Not rushing. Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. with the hook. You're working. Ooh, that was time. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use the... Oh, he hurt me with that left hook. So he threw that power left hook. And he is looking really sharp. It's a problem. That smoking Joe left hook. Catch your ass, bro. Hey, that was a, <laughs> that was a wild ass round, dude. I know, he's like a cat. That was a wild ass round. Here comes the 10th round. All right, we up. We up by two. But we just got to survive. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Good question. Good right hand. Woo. Trying to stay away from that lead hook. Because I know he's going to be winning this time. Yeah. The best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They threw the hook, it didn't land. Stuck right now, Joe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. This can be so frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations mm -hmm. before you even let one off. That creates frustration. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning. Good round. We will be both Good first. round. Hold on, guys. Hello. Uh, what do you want to? 
Nope. That jab not going to score. And just as quickly as the action slows okay. down, it beats the back up. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your yeah. opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be oh courageous God. when you get in there with someone that's bigger, that? stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Oh, my God. Um, let me call you back. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Damn, as if I ain't out here trying to whoop somebody's ass, then I got to take a phone call. Scoring shot. Let's go, there. Joe. Let's go, Joe. Ooh. That jab misses. Ooh, some hit. Ooh. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. No, just pounding away at each other's bodies. This fight right. could not. This is going to be the first one to get All right, here we go. I want to win this one just in case he won the last two. Because you never know with this. There's a scoring blow. Good job. Okay. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard okay. type of fight. Oops. Couldn't land that jab. Nice coach. Body. You move it. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Okay, so one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Frank Texas. And he caught it with a left hook. Nope. Unlucky to miss with that jab. Now watch out. You don't have low stamina when you get hit with a hit. High punch. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Yeah, he's trying. All right, we're going to see him about the decision. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' yeah, scorecards yeah. as a unanimous decision victory. What a wide that one. You know, that's skills. That's class. That's levels. One is up there, one is down got the there. Job but you know what? Rocking the loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. That's actually a, a I pretty totally even matchup, Joe and Rocky. Pretty even on all score, on all the judges' scorecards, too. We were trading rounds up until the 8th. The 8th, 9th, and 10th, we won, and then the 12th. Well, unless you look at the first judge's scorecard, just like, whatever. We landed 52% of our headshots. That's fucking crazy. We, damn. We was literally outboxing him. He went for 527 body shots. Jeez. The percentages on it was just crazy.
Got the job done though with Rocky. I'm glad I ran into George Foreman and not fucking Deontay Wilder or somebody. Shit. Because that shit would have been a lot tougher to do. Then we really would have had to try to start, like, picking our spots. Because for some reason, Deontay Wilder in this game moves like he's fucking Usyk. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's get it. Alright, who do you guys want to see me use? The first name that I see in the chat is who we gonna go with. Yo, what's up, Bo? How you doing, my guy? Welcome back to the stream. By the way, Tyrone, I don't know if I said it was good to you when you came in, but it was good. You're struggling to land shots. I mean, I'm starting to get better and better at it. I just think you have to pick the most opportune times when to throw your shots. Carl Frotch. Oh my god. Alright, let's use Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch is actually he's actually decent. It's just his jab isn't the best, and his health stats aren't the best either. And if we match up with Sugar Ray Robinson, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. All right, let's get it. But I like the game. It's the, I'm finding it a little bit more easier to land shots now, just with how much I've been playing the game. Um... Actually, I think it's pretty good. It has, obviously, the ghost punches and stuff like that. And it has some tracking issues that also need to be addressed. But overall, I mean, I like the feel of it. I just know that it's going to change quite a bit before it drops, like, on consoles and shit, which is good. Which is why it's so good that they're doing the, um, they're doing the early access. And now I kind of understand why they're doing it on why they did it on PC instead of doing it on console as well. Because if it PC uploads at a higher frame rate, so if it's All fucking up at a higher frame rate, sold. then We're it's going to fuck Brooklyn up. Hall. I'm Todd Grisham. It's Next fuck to up me, of course, gets, is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. Gets, uh, Time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, one the of the consoles. best to ever do it. Use, Carl, the of, Cobra Frosh. He Doc comes Holiday, in I, six foot I can one see that. inches tall I can see that. with a 75.2 inch reach. To get used to. And facing him, it's Sugar Ray Leonard. Waiting yeah, they've patched it four times since it's come out. Carl, which is good, because they're on top of it. Mm -hmm. Sugar Ray Leonard. He, of course, won world titles in... This bout is scheduled for... Sugar Ray. Not too many seats... He's a pretty tough matchup. That left scores. He didn't take that jab well at all. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. 
Look at look at his <laughs> look at his movement, bro. It's real funny. Right there, the nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left hook, it's finding his target. Oh, that is gonna be a range for that. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. And he misses with that jab. Paul Fats is more of like a you gotta stick and move. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Alright, we're doing it. This is definitely how you find it. Right? Either way, Slugger with a big right hand. Yes, sir. It's too hard to split. You listen to yes, sir. Look at that. We didn't take any damage. But that's really how you have to fight with him, too, in the game. Because if you watch Carl Fox in real life, I don't know how many of you guys have actually watched him fight in real life. But if you go and watch his fights against Arthur Abraham and you know, Andre Ward in the Super Six, Andre Ward put it on him by just pressuring him. Like, he was able to just put the pressure, get inside the reach, and make it work. Where against Arthur Abraham, he dominated Arthur Abraham. So... And you look at his fight against Cody Kessler, too. Same thing that happened against Andre Wood. He's just not as quick. By the way, Flo, what's, what's popping with you, bro? That jam. He misses with that jab. Gotta get out of there. Gotta keep moving. Can't just stand stationary, especially against Sugar Ray Leonard, because he's fast as fuck. Right there. So much for boxing. No, he this lost to he fight. lost to uh he lost to Kessler. I believe he lost to Kessler. I could be capping. He lost to Ward and I believe Kessler. Nope. Power jab. Yeah. Nice to power jab again. I threw the hook, didn't land. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Mm. Neither one Good of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecard. Nice body work. These fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the primary is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of whoever is man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Right. That's the two losses. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I, I'm on this boxing thing, bro. I'm on this boxing thing. I knew he lost it. I thought, I believe that he lost to Cody Kessler, but I knew he had lost to Andre Ward. Because he lost to Kessler, came back, beat the brakes off Arthur Abraham, and then fought Andre Ward in the finale of the Super Six. I believe in Atlantic City. I believe that's where they fought. So yeah, yo, Nappy, what's popping with you, bro? How you doing, man? I'm boxing beautifully right now. He gets out of the way. That gotta, left gotta watch out for the body, though. And he just missed with that left jab. Yep. Rock the body, rock the body. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real right difference. There. 
This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Mm. Just depends on how mm. confident you are as a fighter. Mm. Yo, we landing on him heavy. Exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Neither man really defending toxic. themselves. Yeah, this looks crazy. Keep moving. And he just misses with that jab. Nope. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. All right, tell it, man. Who's winning tell this round? Tell it, man. They're fighting beautifully right now. I can see their name. Fighting beauty. Be the first all three rounds. All three rounds. Let's get it. Oh, just missed. Nope. Can't let that hit us. That left hand misses. And he caught him with a left hook. Mm. So I'm circling off into his lead hand because he's not really throwing too many rights. Carries that left jab away. Mm, nice movement. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches yep. that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Mm. Oh, that punch. Ah, uh, okay. Caught him there with a right hook. Start working the body a little bit. He ripped to that body. So see now what he's doing Energy is just and endurance he's sidestepping, but he's sidestepping into my power side. You know so when you sidestep like that, over the place in you this can one. get hit to your body. So now we started to do that. We started to throw that power right hook, and he got out of it. He stopped doing it. And that's what we're trying to do. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? <clears throat> He's trying to put the pressure on. The going to get caught first. You're living the fire. Get him with the left jab. Hmm. Misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. He almost touched him. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do oh, they have a okay. good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Tactic. Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That left-handed jab doesn't quite score.
takes that jab. Still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Got his thoughts on Stoppers versus Ray Robinson, but he's just not making up the title. Plus, his body shots are slow. His punches are slow just in general. His punches are slow just in general. What's up, Jay? What up, Pi? He's trying to jerk his right. He's trying to do his jump. He's going to be the first one to get rocked. Yeah, you really got to be. You really got to be on your P's and Q's, man. Because he's real, real slow. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer. He's they got a good chin on him, though. Move, but then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Nope, moving out of the way. Nice slip to avoid the jab. Hmm. Woo! Nice little crispy four piece. And he fails to score with that left hook. Can they figure out the combination to this save? Missed him with that uppercut. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain mm. to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're Ooh, confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all Whoa. the way through a fight. Jay had a doctor stop us. He, he almost lost that fight. Got his gloves up to block. This round could go either Not way. Ten seconds baby. to go. Johnny, that was super tight. Who the I fuck are those guys? Yeah, I know who knows. Alright, we're up two rounds. Gotta make it work though. This with that jab. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You just got to try and go oh, yeah. skim and go for speed. Bro, what? Are you really going to try to play like this, dog? Okay. These two are the perfect dance partners. And that jab just missed with the left hand. Yeah, we'll just stand here and wait for you. Nice exchange here from both men. We'll just stand here and wait for you. Nice job by him to block that jab. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes. The, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bro, yeah, he, just, he was just trying to give me, he was just trying to give me a go forward so that way he could try to try to work the body as he's he gonna stay here with me, bro. Unlucky to miss with that jab. Oh my god, I, was, I fucked up the distance just a little bit. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've nope, seen some aggressive fighters. Shots. They can terrorize the life Ooh. out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Stiff jab. Come on. I'll wait for you. Not throw out a lazy jab in I'll wait for you to get, get home. Come down. on. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight yeah. could not be any closer, could it, John? Now we're starting to do a little bit too much damage. Who's going to be the first one to get clipped? Here we go. Okay. Power job. Probably driving the game. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little favorite and pick up with them. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That jab not gonna score. It's okay. It's okay. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A, so a, far, it seems like thing. aggression has just been one. the key. This fighter just not slowing just down. Water. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a yeah, nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, no, that is the worst yeah, place to be. Yeah, Having right. second thoughts in the ring. Did he? No, I got you. Ooh, that punch hurt him. I'm surprised his stomach hasn't got the jacket to the new sticks from yesterday. No rest for the weary. Yes. Yeah. Just uh, two ounces. Cards are going to be all over the place in this one. Oh, yeah, guys, give me a little bit. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Alright, you can tell your opponent's getting frustrated. Yeah, he's doing some real off the wall shit right now, bro. 
You're doing some real off the wall shit. You make sure this is going to be the first one to get clipped. 87, 84. Let's get it. We have three rounds. They call it the so chin. How people. strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These oh, are things okay. that can affect the fight. Work the body. Frustrate them. Take the mind off the chin. Take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work keep the moving. body. Use keep tactics yeah. sometimes. It's so hard to Straight actually out box the fight and beat them on point. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. He just misses with that big right hand. Bang. I got the body. Now it's from No Mercy, you've been beefing with Ozzy. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. I have no idea who that is. Are we talking about the same Nas from UFC 4? Got him with a left jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Is that what you're talking about? Boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work, that's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. with that power punch. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Whew. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Yeah. He's going to be the first one to get caught. Look, let me tell you like this. NM. They're not really. Isn't Ozzy or isn't um? Isn't Nas part of UK? We've seen in the past from this fighter. They don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with some mm, of that bigger, difficult. stronger, and He's faster. Him, you just got to use brain though. Damn, how much range does that lead hook have on it? They missed with the jab. Yeah, I call Fajr's lead body hook some slow as shit. A swing and a miss with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with a heavy punch. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that yeah. shot. And that's when they catch you. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, he's in there now? This fight is closer than two pages. Ridiculous. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? here from both men.
stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks that jab. with that right uppercut. This is with the jab. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. You know what? Sometimes when I go to the ring with fights like that, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I see that. We should have got this decision here today. Todd, you are right. We don't see this that often, but when we do, we really remember. And this is one of those. Got it done. We'll call for it. Got it done. I agree. You agree. The fans agree. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. All right, that's enough. Okay, you agree. I'm seeing yo. I'm seeing. Is they had a tie. Okay. All right. Whatever. One judge had it tied, and the other two judges had it in my favor. So got a majority decision with Carl Flash. I'm not going to lie. If you're like a keep-away fighter, you can use Carl Flash. But Jesus Christ, bro. Like, don't work the body. You can't work the body with Carl Flash. Shit's damn near impossible. Damn near impossible, bro. All right, who you guys want to see? Let me know who you guys want me to pick. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know, Joe. I need to know. By the way, shout out to the 12 people that are in here, too. I appreciate you guys. Make sure if you guys are new... And if you guys are enjoying the stream, slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated. By the way, WWE 2K23 comes out next month. I'm going to be playing that. And let me know if you guys want to see. Um, I was thinking about getting Hogwarts. But I don't know. Would you guys Would you guys want to see a gameplay walkthrough of that? Usyk, what up, Derek? I got you. Usyk really got fucked by when he moved to uh, heavyweight, at least in the game. Because in cruiserweight, his movement speed is like 97. But up here, it's only a 90. A 90. So it's really bad. It's such a big jump. Such a big jump. To Tyson Fury. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, he is. I'm telling you, it's because of his his movement and his fucking his movement speed. And the connection is gonna be a little shitty too. Gotta go after Tyson's body. All right, let's put the free movement on. We're gonna need it. Let's move, let's move, let's move. We moving. You wanna get him frustrated. 
frustrate him with the movement. Because Usyk doesn't have the best reach either. Hmm. This dude's looking all power shots with Tyson Fury. Hmm. If I step off that way, I can probably land the lead hook to the body. Hmm. Trying to go body, go body head. Missing. Oh, how much does ping affect Undisputed at the moment? Quite a bit. Quite a bit, to be honest. I use Ali mainly. been struggling with every time I fight Fury. Ali's good. His, his uh, slap hooks are broken like a motherfucker, though. <laughs> Any recommendations on dealing with Fury hook spammers and ranked? You got to keep your distance with him, man. Because, like, this guy's throwing a lot of power hooks with Fury. Those are lead body hooks. Or rear or uh, power lead body hooks. We got a decision him right now. He's missing on a lot of shots. There it is. Ooh, we should have made that. We should have made him pay for that one. Got him right there. Hmm, we missed. So, Cooks, that's a hell of a title, my boy. You really undefeated. Yo, what up, Raw Dizzy? We, we haven't lost one yet, and we've been using everybody's fighters that they've been asking. This one's going to be a little more tough because we are going against Tyson Fury with Usyk. And this isn't the easiest matchup. Take it. Right. On the outside. If we can get him to start whiffing some strikes. Ooh. Right there, good straight. Right 
at the end of the body. I hope we see Usyk. I heard it's happening in April. I heard it's happening in April. I believe it's happening in uh in England. Nope. Throwing a lot of shots that are missing, my friend. Right there. Tough matchup for Usyk. Tyson's so damn long. Yeah. Yeah, but Tyson, uh, the thing is about it is that Anthony Joshua isn't the technical boxer that Tyson Fury is. Anthony Joshua is just a, he's a, uh, he's a pop, more of a power puncher. And he's known to gas himself out later on in the rounds too. Where Tyson Fury isn't really going to gas out. All right, we're up 29-28. Got to play how we were the first two rounds. Playing it on the outside, making him whiff shots, punishing him when he comes up close. Nope. Nope. You're not even touching the block. You can keep popping your jab out all you want. Whiffing that many shots, should have him gassing in the later rounds? It should, but who knows, man. With the way stamina is right now, nah, I'm not too sure. Jab straight at him. Gotta start playing it a little more patient, though. He's walking right into these left hands, too. Cracked him right there with a clean combo, right there. does not benefit him at all. I don't know why he keeps trying to chase me down with Tyson Fury. I don't think he likes that we're moving around. Right there. Good left hand. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. Power shots seem to be the only thing that affects stamina, right? Yeah. I see you. I told Dark. Nobody seemed to want to know or how to fight on the outside. Yeah, I'm trying. Bro, I'm trying to work it. You feel me? I'm trying to work it. It's not the easiest thing, but we working it. Especially because we're just trying to make him whiff. Because the more strikes he whiffs, the better it looks when we start to land. The accuracy of ours is gonna be <clears throat> is gonna be in our favor, especially if it goes to a judge's scorecard. Why he's chasing me around like this, I don't know. Because that's not the way Tyson Fury fights like that. He doesn't just chase people around. There you go. This is the way he should be fighting. It should be an outside fight. There you go. Nice job to the body by us. Making a miss, making a miss, making a miss again. Moving that head. Let him hit the block. Landing. Oh, I should have landed that, that rear hook to the body right there, but I don't know why it didn't land. Right there, we got a nice straight in. I really want this game, but I don't have a PC, so I'm just going to keep watching. <laughs> there you go. Now that it's about pissing and releasing on console. Yeah. I mean, it'll get to console, but there's a lot of bugs. <clears throat> there's a lot of bugs, man. And look at that. We're, we just took the last three rounds just outside fighting because he's whiffing so many shots. So we're up by four rounds. And look, he quits. Bro, see what I'm talking about? This is this is what you do to frustrate people, bro. You don't play into the game. And you outside fight. That dude, literally, all I had to do was outside fight him. He's like, you know, I don't want to do this no more. I'm down by four rounds. I don't even want to do this no more. I'm just going to quit. Oh, my God. Do you want me to boil the water for that? You see how much attitude I be getting from my girl, bro? Y'all see? Y'all see? Look at that. We were up 60 to 54. And 59, 55. Oh, no. He was up 59. He was up 59 to 50. 59 to 55. And 60 to 54. But he got so frustrated because he seen one judge's scorecard that he quit. I don't know, know exactly how it says that he was winning by that much. Look at the fucking shot percentage, bro. He was outlanding me to body on my body on body shots, but he threw 411 strikes to the head and only landed 116. 28%. It's crazy, man. A gaming laptop, it all depends on, on what the specs are. But hey, guys, give me one second. I got to go boil some water real quick, and I'll be right back.
Alright, yo guys, that's gonna be it for the stream though. Shout out to everybody that came through. I didn't even realize what time it was. I gotta go to work in like an hour. But shout out to everybody that came through. Uh, shout out to the 13 people that are in the chat. Appreciate you guys. Make sure if you guys are new, and if you guys did enjoy the stream, slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. We did not lose the entire stream, fam. We had three fights that took over an hour and a half to get done. But we won all of them. We won the Carl Frotch fight. Who else did I use? I won, uh, used Carl Frotch, Rocky Marciano, and then Usyk. But, all right, guys, but that's it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well. Um, I might, I'm probably not going to be back streaming until Friday. Uh, just because, you know, during the week it's kind of hard for me to jump on and uh, stream just because I got work and got my family stuff and, and everything. But I'm going to be dropping videos for you guys during the week too. But until Friday, guys, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' time, and I'll see you guys later on, dude.